Hey guys, Spectre here, and welcome to the third speed build, I want to say. Yeah, the third speed build of for my Sim Self series. And this is a build for two friends of mine. Uh, Octopi, otherwise known in the game as I forgot, because I am really good at this. Oh gosh, what did she say her name was going to be? I should have released the cast first. I should have recorded the cast first so I remember the name. Uh, um, give me a second. I'm, I'm just scrolling, scrolling back. <laughs> this is the, this is going great, by the way. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Well, I'm just scrolling up, scrolling up. Tali Octi and Willow Octi. Willow is her daughter. And then there's Ami Lyrical, who in in this game is yes is Tali's sister. So yeah, also Ami is an artist, so there's gonna be like a lot of art in this house, sort of like just filling every like every corner I could think of. I just put up some art in it. So yeah, so uh, the Tali is a game developer in this game, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure that there's a game developer, but I just let's just pretend she is in the game. Her daughter is a rambunctious scamp, and Army is an artist. And while I was doing the cars, like while I was doing all these kind of things and building houses and stuff like that, I just realized something. I have a lot of friends, like. You know how they say birds of a feather flock together and all that kind of stuff? Well, it doesn't really happen to me in real life, like IRL, but like all of the friends that I meet online and the people who are in this game are all really creative in their own right. They all would have the creative trait if they were in The Sims. And I think that's, that's pretty awesome. Also, what am I going on about? Okay, so the entrance to this house is up these stairs. And so the living area as well as Willow's bedroom, Willow being the daughter, is upstairs. So the kitchen, the dining, and the sitting room are upstairs. And then that balcony is going to be like a little barbecue area. And of course there needs to be a bathroom upstairs. The bathroom, that particular bathroom I imagine is for uh, Tali, no, for Willow and the guests. So yeah. I was sort of trying to figure it out downstairs. I was like, uh, how do I? Because I originally wanted all the bedrooms to be downstairs, but it just wasn't gonna fit. So I was just kind of like, um, right, what am I gonna do? So in the end, we put a bathroom downstairs and a bathroom upstairs. So the two adults will share their bathroom, and uh, yeah. Also, there's. This is sort of like a family house, I guess, because in the backyard there is space for the kid, for kids to do their own thing. And I guess if you were moving in a family, it would be a lot easier because it would be both the parents would be in the same bedroom. That upstairs room where Willow is sleeping can be turned into like a home study, and then you could fit fit two kids into the other bedroom. I think. But yeah, sorting out the roofing now. Uh, I'm trying to do like new things with the builds and stuff like that, but it's really hard because I don't really know what I'm doing. Like the outside of this apartment, the like the builds, the walls themselves, is meant to be very modern and sleek and everything. But with uh, the the personality of the occupants, the Sims themselves. The whole modern, chic, sleek thing just wasn't who they are. So I kind of dirtied it up a bit, like put loads of flowers outside. And then the inside is like really, I use a lot of the like stone floors for the bathroom, stone walls for the bathroom, wooden floorboards and like the, the plaster walls for the outside and as well as the interior, exposed bricks everywhere. And yeah, there's also a pretty sweet swimming pool. So now we're sorting out the walls. I I need to figure out like a sort of system when it comes to building. Because I just go all over the place just trying to figure sh stuff out. So yeah, 
again with the exposed uh, brick, I think it ties in nicely with my house that you can see in the background. Not the house next door, that is the Angie Frost... No, what was he called? Uh, Saren Frost Household. Uh, as of right now, I don't know what to call this build. I just asked on Twitter, please help me name this build. And wonderful Katie replied, hey fever house because of the amount of flowers I put outside. So thanks Katie. You keep on trucking. To be fair, I could have made the backyard a lot bigger, but it's... I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I tried putting a gate here as well and I was like, oh, you know what I could do? I could put a swimming pool, which is what I did later on. But now we're covering the outside with like flowers and stuff like that, just to make it look nice. Which I enjoy. I think the next one I'm going to be building, I'm going to be building a house for B, who is also another friend. And I'm going to be doing her cast as well. I just realized something, this entire neighborhood are just filled with women. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are no guys on, these, on this neighborhood. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, B's house is gonna be, uh, I think, sort of two bedroom. You can convert it into a two, two bedroom, I guess, but it's gonna be like a moderately priced house because mine was a starter house, and then these, uh, the Seren Frost household, as well as this household that has no name yet, is very much pricey. So I think we need to meet halfway and have like a house that you could move your sims into when they, you know, they're moving up a little in the world and have a little bit more moolah. So I'm thinking maybe I'll limit myself to 30, 30 simoleons, 30,000 simoleons. Yeah. Also, we just added the pool and I put lots of like lily pads and stuff like that. I guess you can go swimming in it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a fountain, but at the same time, I was like, uh, I always just use swimming pools instead of fountain spaces because I, I want the sim to be able to swim. I just don't see the point of fountains. Like, I mean, the point of, like, ponds and stuff like that. Because at least in The Sims 3, when you terraform a pond, you can put a fishing sign in it and go fishing. Well, I suppose you can do that here. Oh my goodness, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, which, oh yeah, we're, sort, we're sorting out the two bedrooms now. Octi's bedrooms are a little bit bigger, but the thing is, Army's art, easel stuff is outdoors, so I figured Octi's gonna be doing a lot of gardening as well as doing a lot of writing. So she would probably need the indoor space as well, just to sort of like have an office to herself. And that little space space that's been cordoned off is the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is pretty dang swanky. I got all the top tier stuff for the kitchen because Octi likes to cook and here I am saving the game and I think there's going to be a slight pause. Nope. When you when you speed it up by 450%, there is no slight pause. Oh, there it is. I think I was checking messages. Yeah, that could be it. Also, putting in the lights because this time round I actually remembered yeah, maybe I should put in the lights this time so I can actually see what I'm doing when I'm working. So that is what we do. Uh, again, you can start seeing that this house is going to be a little bit quirky at this point with all the kind of like decorations and stuff like that and the lightings. Uh, I ended up using... I usually use all the same kind of lightings all the time, but this time around I decided to go for different kind of lamps and stuff. Uh, yeah, I used that box. I don't know where it's from, but I'm pretty sure I remember seeing it in the re renovation speed belt. And I, was, I saw it, I was like, you know what, this is actually quite a nice light. So I decided to use that wall light in the end. And also that, that uh, ceiling light from the movie stuff pack, which again is one of my favourites stuff packs because it's it's got so much like... It's got so much... What's the word? I forgot the word. It's not hipster. That's definitely not hipster. Hippie. I think that's that's the word. Bohemian. Yeah, bohemian chic. But yeah, the super modern um, kitchen. 
looking pretty fancy. And I gave them a dishwasher and a sink, as well as a teapot. To be fair, I should have given them coffee, but I already put a coffee machine in the Saren Frost house because I figured Angie would probably drink a lot of coffee. I don't know why, it's just, it's just in my head that she would drink a lot of coffee. But to be fair, I imagine Octi drinks a lot of coffee as well. She does She does have, a, have like a really excitable kid to look after. And I thought about using that really old toilet, but I was like, um, yeah, that's pushing it. But we do put up that little section wall and uh, put up like a wood wallpaper on it to make it look really old. And I kind of like it. I kind of like doing that. I think I'm gonna do that more often. Like just this random partition wall. But instead of having it fit the wallpaper, it has like, it looks like it's made out of this worn wood. And that bathroom must be freezing cold because of all like the stone and stuff like that. And the fact that it's next to the swimming pool as well. Also, here I decided to put up a little like curtain thing that barbed wire fence will be gone. Don't worry, there it goes. But yeah, I put up a little curtain over the bathtub. The curtain doesn't quite touch the floor, but you know, it, it, does, it's the, it does the job to cover you up when you're in the bath, I think. And I hate how the curtains keep snapping to the wall. It was so annoying. But yeah. See, it, it just covers the bathtub itself. So it worked out in the end. I think it, qu it looks quite nice, it looks quite fancy. Putting in the same bathroom again and getting that wall. And yeah. Oh, that, that bathtub looks really good though. I'm just looking at that spa bath and I'm like, oh. I've never been to a spa. I always wanted to go, but it's just like, I can't justify the expense. So I guess it's, I guess if I'm thinking about the expense, I shouldn't be the type to go to a spa. But yeah, uh, sorting out Army's bedroom, it was a bit of a challenge because her bedroom's a lot smaller and I wanted them all to have the double beds. And again, using that futon bed because it is my favorite. We couldn't quite fit in a dresser, but I was, oh yeah. We could fit one in uh, Octi's room, so in the end, if I guess if they want to change clothes, they could always just use that one. But yeah, we do dress Armin's room up a little bit. We gave her a nice big clock right above her bed. I don't, I don't think I could sleep in a room with a clock because it's just like constantly ticking. And yeah, here we are adding lots of artworks to the walls. I imagine they're all done by Army, and as well as some sketches and stuff. And then more artwork, she probably gave- oh, that was a big one. Oh, these are photographs because Octi, or shall I say Tali, has the um, the family trait. So that's pretty awesome. And she's- Ami has a little reading corner, that little cute poof. And up here is the sitting area, nothing too inspiring, it's just like a couch and a TV. I imagine they're probably going to spend more of their time outdoors, or in Tali's case, she's going to be working on her, on her computer more often. And more paintings. I think these drawings are really cute. Oh, we should have lingered on them a little longer. But yeah, really simple. But I do like the staircase entrance though, I will say. I'm pretty sure I stole that idea from the Ligracy. Because before I was building, well, bef to psych myself up for this Sims Self series, I binge watched so many Sims 4 videos that you guys don't even know. And I landed back on Billy Grossi's channel and just like rewatched everything. So yeah, that was a weird noise I made with my throat. More paintings again. Army has been busy in this house. Damn. Also, I really like Willow's room, the child's bedroom, because she's got lots of like toys and stuff like that. And I imagine she and Ami got together to paint the walls and stuff. Now I'm just dumping some stuff outside because I was like, okay, this needs to go outside, so sit here and wait for me. I'm trying to fit in more bookcases in this house because I imagine uh, Tali would want Willow to be very well read. Because she is a writer, and I need to put her in a writing career. Oh, 
those lamps are really nice, the ones in the shape of a flower. But yeah, that cute, adorable pink bed. So cute. So small. And I was trying to like, uh, how do I fit this? But I hope, I hope it works. I hope she can get in there. Should have play a test at this house. But what else? One idea that did occur to me was that, uh, Octi and, not Octi, Tali and Willow should share a bedroom. But I was like, oh, this is such a big house. To make them share a bedroom is a little bit, mm, like a little bit unfair, I think. And here's like the little drawings on the walls. I know they're decals, but in my head it's just like they spent the afternoon painting the walls together when they moved in. And I thought that was pretty cute. Sitting area outside to just chill as well as a barbecue pit that's hopefully close enough to, to the kitchen that the sims will actually use it and go to the kitchen to sit down. Uh, I thought about using that wooden thing and then I just realized, I was like, oh, stone paths would make more sense. So I so I use stone tiles. But yeah. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff out here. Cause, because I wanted like a lot of space for Willow to be able to play around in. So she's got a little like sand, sand pit area. And then I fill it up with like lots of toys. No doubt uh, Tali is going to like go there and start picking up all the toys and putting them away. But I thought it would be cute anyway. Just to have let her have a little bit of a play space and yeah this is when we this was when I was like um, I need I need space for this so I'm gonna move stuff around but yeah I think it's quite cute I, I really like that um, what's it called that monkey bar set with the flowers growing on it I thought it was really cute I don't know what I just put in her room then oh clothes okay I see so some kitchen stuff. I'm just putting stuff in as I go along to be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, I put the butterflies in her room. Now I remember what it was. But yeah, I didn't put that many lights outside because I'm like... Tal... Octi... <laughs> keep getting the names wrong. Willow should not be outside playing after dark to begin with. So let's not... We don't need to put lights outside. It'll be fine. So yeah, doing a little bit of gardening, adding all the flowers and stuff. Uh, I, I think once I start playing this, I'm going to extend the garden a little bit so that um, Tali gets more gardening space. I think that would be better. But yeah, adding lots of flowers and stuff to this tiny little garden. And trees obviously that big tree from the movie stuff pack with the lanterns on it because i thought that would be cute and quirky for this household more trees lots of oxygen trees are good for you plant trees and i think we're almost done oh we add more creepers of course i think now we're just like sorting out the outside of the house just to make sure everything looks nice and good and adding more flowers at the base of each tree just to cover up the fact that they look a little bit odd and the mailbox but I couldn't remember what the mailbox was called so I had to actually type it in oh it's under appliances okay commit that to memory Spectre commit it to memory appliances miscellaneous got it screenshots so yeah guys, uh, this is the outside view of the house. You can see Ami and Tali walking in. The sitting area, very simple. Bright colours though on the floor. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying all these builds and these cast videos so far. If you are, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm really looking forward to doing this sim series. I'm gonna be, if you have any sims that you'd like to put in the game, just let me know in the comment section down below. And before I start the series, I'm gonna plonk in all of the sims straight into the world. And it'll be pretty awesome, I think, so that, you know, it'll be fun to have custom sims for once. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video.